Jesus said to the crowds, The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field which someone has found. He hides it again, goes off happy, sells everything he owns and buys the field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant looking for fine pearls. When he finds one of great value, he goes and sells everything he owns and buys it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The painting by the Englishman William Hunt, which, this be, which depicts Jesus knocking at the door of a house. It is made most famous by Hunt's painting of the door with no handle. Hence, the door can only be opened from the inside of the house. So, there are two classes of souls in this world. First, those who hear the knock and, and have opened the door to allow Christ in. That is, those who have found the faith. Second, those who have heard the knock but not opened the door. That is, those who are looking for faith. It is amazing when one starts with the basic principle that as the eye needs light, the stomach needs food, the soul needs God, how different the world will be. There's not a single person in the world, regardless how deep they are in, in, immersed in sin, who is not in the depths of their soul craving for God. The Venerable Fulton Sheen shared these two stories in his life. The Archbishop was staying at a hotel in Paris when he noticed an Englishman playing a piano. After listening, the Bishop complimented his playing and then invited the Englishman to dine with him. During the dinner, the man said, I have a problem. I would like to present to you. I have never met one good man or one good woman. The man proceeded to tell the bishop this story. One year earlier, he met a woman whose husband was cruel to her, so he said to her, come and live with me. He continued, I'm tired of her now. I get tired of them all after a year. I wrapped up her clothes this morning, left them at the front desk, and told her to leave. As the evening was coming to an end, the Englishman asked the bishop, Where are you going? The bishop replied, I'm going up to Montemartre. The man said, I was just beginning to think you were, you were good. Now you're going up to the hellhole of Paris. The bishop said, There's something else on the hill of Montemartre besides divas and dens. There's the beautiful Basilica of Sacred Heart. There, hundreds of men pray every night in perpetual adoration of our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament. The bishop invited him along. Together they went. The man asked, how long will you stay? The bishop replied, I intend to stay all night, but I will leave when you want to go. The man stayed all night. In the morning, the man said, this is the first time in my life I have ever come in contact with goodness. The man asked the bishop to stay in Paris for a few days to, and teach him, so they agreed to meet again. At the appointed time, the man came into the courtyard with a woman, but not the woman involved in his earlier story. The man said, the three of us will go out to dinner. The bishop said, no, tonight I want to see you. The bishop called him aside, saying, You received a great grace yesterday. You got the first dim contact with goodness, love, and holiness. Tonight, you have to make a choice. Either you're going out with this woman, or you're going out with me. Which will it be? 
He walked up and down the courtyard for a few minutes and then came back to the bishop. He said, well, Father, I think I'll go out with her. In a second story, the Archbishop related, while working at St. Patrick's Church, Soho, London, he opened the church door one cold morning in the month of January. A limp figure stumbled in. It was a young woman. The bishop said, how did you happen to be here? She said, I, didn't, I do not know where I was, Father. Oh, Father, I used to be a Catholic, but not anymore. The bishop said, but why are you here? You seem to be a little bit intoxicated. What are you running away from? She replied, from men, each who think I love them. The bishop asked her name. When she told him, the bishop pointed to a billboard on the other side of the street. Then he added, is that your picture over there on that billboard? She said, yes, I'm the leading lady in that musical comedy. The woman was very cold. The bishop made her a cup of coffee and suggested if she could come back the next, before her next show. Her response, I will, on the one on one condition that you do not ask me to go to confession. The bishop said, well, very well, I promise. The bishop, the woman came back. The bishop asked her, we have a beautiful Rembrandt and a Van Dyke inside the church. Would you like to see them? When inside the church, as they walked past the confessional box, the bishop gave her a gentle push into it. The bishop did not ask her to go, but she went to confession. The actress became a nun in the convent of perpetual adoration in England. Jesus knocks at the door of our soul. The pianist sadly did not open the door of his heart to Christ. The actress opened the door of her heart to find the great treasure of Christ. She gladly found the great pearl of faith.